In this video, we're going to have a look at solving simultaneous equations using substitution. Example 1. Solve x and y simultaneously. In the previous video, we had a look at how to approach this question using elimination. Today, we're going to have a look at substitution. In the substitution method, your first aim is to get one of the variables in one of the equations alone on one side, so to make it the subject of the equation. That means there will be four different options of variables to get on their own. I'm going to choose to use the first equation, and in this equation I'm going to get x alone on one side. That means on the right I will have 8 plus y. This equation now says that x has the same value as 8 plus y. And that is why we can use the second equation and substitute x with the value 8 plus y. When doing substitution, it is important to work with brackets. So I'm going to write the second equation, but instead of x, write a bracket. In that bracket, I'm now going to substitute the value that we got for x in terms of y, and that is 8 plus y. Now I have an equation that only has y as variable, which means I can solve y. Firstly, I'm going to multiply the 2 into the bracket to get 16 plus 2y plus y equals 10. And that means I now have 3y equal to minus 6. And that means that y is equal to minus 2. Now that I have the value for y, I can substitute this back into the adjusted equation or into the original equation. I'm going to take the adjusted equation and substitute the y value with minus 2. This means that the x value is equal to 6. Next, I'm going to solve the same two equations but this time by getting y alone in the second equation. Because as I've mentioned, you can get any variable alone in any of the equations to solve using substitution. So in that second equation, if I get y alone, I will have 10 minus 2x. This I will now substitute into my first equation because I know that y has the same value as 10 minus 2x. So now I take my first equation and instead of y, I write a bracket. Inside that bracket, I now do my substitution and y is 10 minus 2x. Here I now have an equation with only x's in, so I can solve x. So x minus 10 plus 2x is equal to 8, which means that 3x is equal to 18, and I will get the same answer I got earlier for x, and that is 6. Now I can substitute this x value into the adjusted equation or the original equation, and again I'm going to use the adjusted equation, and in this equation I'm going to substitute x with 6. This means I get the same y value as earlier, and y will be minus 2. So here you can see that substitution can be applied in many different ways. You need to choose the easiest option for you. Example 2. Solve x and y simultaneously. If you have a look at these two equations, you will see that none of the variables have a coefficient of 1. That means that you will have a bit more to do before you have a variable that is on its own. Once again, you have many options of variables to get on its own. You can, for example, choose to get x alone in the first equation, and that means you will start off by adding 2y on the right, and then dividing by 3 right through. Even though this is not wrong, I will definitely not choose to substitute this value into the second equation. That is why I'm going to choose to rather start with my second equation. In the second equation, all the coefficients are even numbers, and this is an indication that it might be possible to work without fractions. 
I'm going to aim to get the y alone because it's the smallest coefficient. And for that, I'm going to start by subtracting 4x on the right. Next, I need to divide by 2 straight through to get 3 minus 2x on the right. So here I don't have any fractions. Now I can substitute this value for y into y in my first equation. So again, I write the first equation with a bracket where y should be. And then I substitute the 3 minus 2x into the bracket. Now I can multiply the minus 2 into the bracket. And here I have a linear equation to solve. This will give me 7x is equal to 14 and x will then be 2. Now I can substitute this x value back into my adjusted equation and that means I will have 3 minus 2 times 2 which will give me a y value of minus 1. 